Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts Germany 1940, it's episode 18. And I'm going to start this off with an interesting pop-up. Because Admiral Miklos Horthy was replaced with a new Admiral. Because apparently Horthy was a bit too aggressive with his spending. Interestingly, um, this seems to have thrown the game for a bit of a loop. And I don't know, I, there was an alliance sign between my empire and the Austro-Hungarian Empire. But we already were allies, so it seems that if the leader gets replaced, the game might run a check or something to see if you're still allied. And of course, when at some point the whole diplomacy system comes out, this is going to be vastly improved. But right now, it's a bit weird. So what do we have happening today? Um, at the moment, there's not too much activity in the North Sea. We do have a, a bit of an encounter here with a destroyer. It's my destroyer, the V3 versus the Hornet. We've seen these guys before, I believe. This is the Skate Class Destroyer, 9 million for them, 13.5 million for me. And I have updated my destroyers, all of them at this point, with the better torpedoes and also the better turning circle at 177 meters. So we're just going to gun this guy down right quick as we wait for further encounters. I have continued losing a few transports over in the North Sea. And of course, not having any battleships or anything larger than, I think, a heavy cruiser out there it's not really helping, but I'm just trying to stretch the campaign as long as I can to try and get the H-41 out there. I just really want to see her fight the remainder of the British battleship fleet. And I think we're still not quite going to make it. We need something like 12 to 15 months at this stage, but we'll just have to do as best we can. Let's start slowing down because we have found the target. There is the British DD. Get the guns opening up. They're turning to their port side. They're starting to... F no, not flood yet. They're starting to burn. Give me the torps. Turn hard to port. They're probably torping me as well. At this point, the DD gets a detection warning, I think, by 500 meters or so. So, yeah, you did. You dead. That was fun. And that's how you kill a destroyer. Apparently, that's not how you kill a destroyer, because this destroyer got hit by two 24-inch torpedoes and survived. I just don't know how. There you go. Hornet sinks anyway. So, a few more victory points for us, and we took no damage. No, we took no damage. 159 victory points. Hornet eliminated. I wasn't even aware we had ships in the channel. Because we don't. Why the hell was my destroyer even out there? Hmm. As for the fleet, at least the light cruisers might still get an opportunity to take this, uh, the spotlight. These are um, torpedo spammers. Yes, the AI uses them, and now I will too. And I'm really hoping I can drag it on for four more months to get the battle cruisers out there. Before we do that, though, we have an interesting encounter. It's the Cormoran, which is our Deutschland-class heavy cruiser. She's coming up against... This is a French group. The French have 23 destroyers, and it seems that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 of them are here, inc <laughs> including the Prote. Uh, the Pote has gained somewhat of a reputation as being more dangerous to her allies than to her enemies because she was instrumental in sinking two of her own light cruisers in a previous episode. There's also the Akatis and the Vectis, two skate-class destroyers from the British. These destroyers are no joke. Um, they're pretty quick, 29 knots, and they carry, of course, a lot of torpedo tubes and 4-inch guns. It seems that most of these have been around for a while as they're all crewed by veterans. There is also a distinction in the type of destroyer that we have. Here we've got the Tirailleur. And most of them have been upgraded to the Tirailleur 2 class. But this is the standard Tirailleur. And apparently these have minimum bulkheads. But these have been upgraded to have many bulkheads. So, Kermoran is going to be dancing. She'll be putting on a nice ballet show as she tries to dodge all the torpedoes. We're going to immediately look... Load high explosive? Wow. 
French are getting real desperate, sending out a ship that badly damaged. Uh, I said we're immediately going to load the high explosive and just start targeting ships. The thing is, I don't have that much ammo, so I'm going to have to wait out the shells a bit. Overpen with high explosive. Okay. Uh, this div, I could torp it. I might as well. Torpedo tube should have a good angle here. 16 clicks out. Come on there, buddy. Come to me in a group. One big, nice, happy family formation. Hold on, they're fanning out a little. Target the lead trend or lead uh, destroyer. If I torp this and these join, that should be funny. Come on, Carmorin, you should be able to launch at this stage. The torpedoes are loaded. The ship's coming towards you. What's the deal here? See, no problem. All right. Now that's the lead target. Oh, have you now? What? You have run out of torpedoes? And your target's over there. And your rest of your friends are here. Oh boy, I think we might have spotted the protet. Come on, we're gonna do a turn. Just making sure. Because I trust nothing. Least of all, your capability of detecting these torpedoes early. Or, well, early enough. So many destroyers. At the least, I have the best possible cruiser to deal with that, with the 5 inch and the 4 inch. It should have enough firepower, but ideally, these things were designed to raid convoys. Yet, they were never really given an opportunity to do just that. Somebody else ran out of torpedoes. You did. Are you going to try and torpedo the cask or something? Cask also launched. Okay, maintain course away. Uh, for the secondaries, I also want to save ammo. If these guys just want to spam torps, that's fine. Let them spam their torps. Here are mine. These two gentlemen here could prove to be interesting. Yeah, here we go again. Who did that? Was it the Cavalier? Not the Cavalier. Was it the Arab? No. Rote? No, not you. There. Commandant Luca. This guy torpedoed a friendly. And I torpedoed a hostile. The Commandant Rivière. Sorry, Rivière. Um... Yeah, torpedoes seem to be doing fairly useful things today. Can we torp this? Everybody else is... Actually, the Cavalier would be even better, because everybody else is behind it. Bit starboard turn, gently. Once these guys run out of torps, which is a bit of an if... Um, nah, it's more like a when. They will run out of torps. When they run out of torps, I can just charge right into that formation. Gunning left and right. Hello, torpedo. Turn around. Anybody else throwing torpedoes at the friendlies? Come on, Pote, you know better than that. You know you want to launch. Detected more? Oh, crap. I thought we'd had the worst of it, but this is not good! Cormoran! Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That uh, could have been a hell of a lot worse. I mean, still not good for your health. Remember, kids, no smoking and no getting hit by torpedoes. There's more... go. Peter's away on the Cavalier. Fuck. 
so much more coming in. Okay. Condition Brown. Cormoran, do your super turn trick. This is what the AI does, so I can do it too. This is perfectly fine. Right? Torpedo right next to you. This is perfectly fine. We call this Tuesday. Uh, you know what? I'm going to maintain a bowing position. This guy's out of torpedoes. Cask is flooding some more. Voltigeur still has torps. Cavalier's empty. Arab. Full salvo. She has all of her launchers. Oh, there's more in the water. Fuck. Um, yeah. Turn, buddy. Turn back hard. Real hard. You're gonna get hit. I swear that barely did any damage. Turn back. Doing four knots, probably thanks to my unbalanced rudder. I'm losing so... No, I have a balanced rudder. I'm losing a lot of speed in the turn. But we are getting speed. Apparently the flooding was not that bad. I don't know. Torpedoes have been detected. Update. Loads of torpedoes have been detected. Already spotted a gap there that I can squeeze the Cormoran through. Won't be comfortable, but... That's what I have. Oh, cross torp. The thing is... I think they only carry enough for one salvo. Volticure, out. Cask, out. Manan Luca, out. Rote has torps. Akatis, that's a British boat. They still have torpedoes. Be a very gentle port turn. Vectis has torps, not launched yet. My torps are out. What am I targeting? The Prote. It's over there. Got it. Uh, we got the Adroit. She has launched. The Riviere has also launched. Uh, no, sorry, she has not. She is flooded. After taking a torpedo from a friendly, she has not launched her own torps. Let's see what we can hit here. Come on, Luca. I'm surprised at how little damage I've taken from these torpedoes. These are... Well, they're only 19 inches. They're not that big as far as torpedoes go. I mean, not in this day and age. I've seen plenty of these guys which carry 24 inch. Uh, where's the Brit? Vectis. 23 inch torpedoes. This is really something you do not want to get hit by. It will mess you up. Akatis has run out of torpedoes. Have you now? Starboard turn. Yeah. There goes our speed. Yeah. <laughs> you sure this is a balanced rudder? That <laughs> feels like an unbalanced rudder to me. Wow. Boy, this thing loses speed in a turn is pretty insane. Yep. Good work. There's more. How expensive was this again? 60 something? 63 million. So I need to sink four, five destroyers? Five. In order to get sort of breaking even. I'm not sure how many f ships the French still have left, but I think it's a fairly healthy number. What are you doing? Are you all leaving? No, you're not. Kask, you seem stationary. Shame if something happened. Like a random high explosive hit, or, well, armor piercing in this case. Akati still has torps, Pote is out. Pote just ran out of torps, actually. So let's do the zigzag. We're maintaining speed this time around. 
I think we won't be able to catch these guys anymore, not with two damaged engines. Maneuvering at 13 knots is great when you're not trying to have a fight up close. It's been great when you deal with a cruiser most of the time, but when you're trying to fight a destroyer group, it is awfully slow. Steady as she goes. Come on. Bit more flooding and she's gone. Many bulkheads are keeping this thing alive. She's developed a bit of a list. That might take her down. No torpedoes detected yet. She's dead. La Droit next. Very slow target. We need a bit of damage. Oh, I can't hit out that far, can I? No, I need to get to 10 kilometers. Yeah, I don't have that range. Overpen. Okay. I might just call it a day after taking down the Ladrois. Because um, some of these are just way too fast. And they're leaving. And I'm not really in a mood to chase these guys down. So, La Droit. If you could just sink. Look at that port side of the hull. Surprised the ship hasn't completely flooded out yet. Starboard hull seemingly, uh, seemingly the same. Anyway, um, I just need to do a bit more. One or two more hits. Flooding. Done. If I can still... Hit it, that is. Comorin's damage, 87% structural, it's not bad. We can cancel that flooding pretty quick. I think two months dry dock time should do it. That ought to be enough. Oh, come on. You know what? She's even slower than I am. I'll bet. Yeah, she's doing five knots. I'll let her live. Cautionary tale for the French. Don't approach the heavy cruisers. Because they lost two destroyers. One was heavily damaged. The Commandant Lucat was medium damaged. And yeah. Pretty good win. Pretty good win. I'm not sure why the British Empire got victory points. Maybe they were the only ones that did damage? Oh well. And I keep losing transports. Please. Why do I again have a destroyer out here? What's the V3 doing here alone? Why is there a single British DD out here when there's a French battle group next to, what is that, Le Havre? It makes no sense. The British have five destroyers left. Well, we're going to make that four. These Brits are so easy to kill. South... East? Really? Okay. Yep, there. Torpedoes, no... Seen the V3 a few more times before. It's a good boat at this point. It's a veteran crew. These guys know what they're doing. Hello. Same procedure. Reduce speed to full. Open up. Fire high explosive. Prepare to torp. Wait for them to turn to port. Now. Smoke. Prepare to change course. Do so now. I'm probably going to start torpedoing myself right about now. There it is. Nice try. Hello. Here's your torps. I you didn't request them, but they're here anyway. And you're done. Well, I keep saying that too early. So it's probably not true this time either. Nice try. Dead. So, zero damage, 1800 damage dealt. Easy. Was a nice two minutes. Is what she said. Okay. Am I correct in assuming that in the next month we have the light cruisers? Yes. We have the lights. Excellent. Let's get them out there. Apparently, before that happens, the Cormoran, I believe she is still damaged, is facing the Akatis and the Vectis, the ones that survived. That previous encounter. So we're gonna play a wacky destroyer again. 
The Comoran has been almost entirely fixed. Impressive. 24 clicks out. Oh, that's going to take me a while. A little while later, we're a mere 12 kilometers out. And at this point, I am starting to get my ship more accurate. Of course, the British are maintaining a respectable difference, uh, difference distance. And there you go. And uh, probably have torps in the water by now. Just can't ID them yet. Don't exactly know. We're still apparently trying to fire warning shots. Not sure why. Miss, 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 miss. Nice try. Keep it up. Miss. It's not even in the same zip code, dude. That is not where the target is. What on earth are you doing? Hit this thing. Nice try. Based on the number, that's the salvo from one destroyer. Vectis, possibly. Akati's just launched. Okay, we're gonna increase the flank. Target Vectis. Don't care about the Akati's anymore. Vectis is closer and easier to hit. Not for very long, probably, because these guys are pretty quick. No, sorry. Different destroy class in my mind. They're doing 29 knots. 29.7, which is just marginally faster than my heavy cruiser. Seriously, target the Vectis. Vectis ran out of torps. Dumbass. You're not going to hit this. Not to say that it didn't happen 10 minutes ago in the same episode, but hey-ho. Akatis. Did you also just torp me or no? What on earth are you doing? Torpedoes away on the Akatis. Uh-huh. Starboard turn. Waste some speed in the turn. There's the rest. Turn. Second salvo of torpedoes away. The Akatis has her dual launcher loaded. If it's up to the Cormoran, she will not be around to fire again. What are we trying to hit? Oh, we're actually trying to hit the Vectis. It's the secondaries that are trying to take, her, uh, take care of the Akatis. Yes, okay, fine. I thought we were seeing these disastrous missing shells again. There we go. That's Akatis. No, Vectis. Akatis is launching. That's cute. But you won't be around to see whether that hits or not. So, that's another two destroyers dealt with. At this point, the destroyer fleet for the British is down to two. Am I right? Because we're taking these things down so fast. No, they built more. They got seven again. Okay. Fine. There's another task force battle. Another one-on-one? -on -one? Jeez. Okay, what do we have? The Cormoran's going for repairs. Yeah. Look at the rest of the fleet. Pretty healthy. They're just elsewhere. Look at all this. Is the Hansa back online? Yeah. The Hansa and Leipzig are back online. They're... All the way over here in the Baltic, which is a port section that I generally just don't check. Which is why they were all just chilling out there. No pun intended. Where's my battleship? Because the Hanover, yeah, she's parked in Hamburg. The battleship should be fixed and ready to go. Let's piss off some British, shall we? We send the Breslau over there. These light cruisers should be capable of operating alone. Because they are pretty... Much hit and run weapons. I'm gonna send the Augsburg out there alone. There you are. What's this task for? Yeah, that. Okay, I'll take this off screen because this is just gonna be very quick. Now, once again, the British are requesting that I sign a peace treaty. Um, no. I still want to do a bit more fighting. Especially not with this light cruiser against 3DDs. Withdraw. Failure. 
The withdraw function really doesn't seem to work very well for me lately. I don't know what gathers or what uh, governs that particular effect, but I, well, I haven't really had a lot of luck with it. Uh, Breslau is a light cruiser that is probably going to suffer from inability to spot enemy destroyers because she has no radar and she's built as cheaply as possible, making her a 21.5 million boat, which has the minimum of armor, a 2-inch or 2-barrel 5-inch gun on the bow. Uh, she has a rangefinder. She has pretty good sonar, but her main armament is torpedoes. These quads. There, 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 and there. The last thing that these were supposed to fight is destroyers. They're absolutely not supposed to fight destroyers. So that's going to make this battle potentially very interesting. Now they are spotted to the south, but without a radar. I don't even get a ping. I don't even get a general bearing. I just know that... Ow! I have been detected. Torpedoes away. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you torp? No, no, no. I torp you, buddy. Of course, these are DDs. They're gonna just shift course almost without end. But I need to get lucky once. One 24-inch hit. And that guy is gonna be in trouble. But they've already detected them. They're already changing course. And now the Breslau is <laughs> effectively harmless. <laughs> nice cruiser there, Stealth. Well done. Uh, okay. Um, whatever. I have guns. I have a good sonar array. Shoot. Other cadets. Oh, that's going to make this all the more annoying. Oh. That's a lot of torpedoes you got there. Now remember, I didn't upgrade anything about this destroyer. They didn't strictly need upgrading. So they're firing incendiary shells. They carry the most incendiary shells. Um, or well, they, they carry a max loadout for that. They have a standard complement of ammo, but that means that with one gun, I get about, what is that, 500 shells I think it started with? 600? Um, 500. That's all I have. Interestingly, the spider has already expended all of her torpedoes. And so has the Thanet. But... <laughs> what? <laughs> This destroyer is more expensive than my destroyer, or than my light cruiser. How though, dude? Are you running gas turbines? Turbo electric drive on a DD? Oh boy. You are one expensive destroyer. Holy shit. Sonar 3, yeah, had to be. I might be able to gun this thing down, I don't know. Probably going to be very easy to pen. Yeah. Flooding, flooding. Do I even have anti flood? Yeah, I do have anti flood. That's nice. Okay. Uh, whatever. We got one launcher on the stern. Let's use it. Torp away. Spider detects and changes direction. So does Thanet. If I want to torp these guys, I'm going to have to wait for the quads to get reloaded. And what the... How did you fuck that up? That was one torpedo and you found it. Rather, you went out of your way to get to the torpedo. Damn. Okay. Now, it's going to take me a while to reload these. Uh, oh, you got torps there. Scepter. That makes you my new highest priority. You're probably going to launch any given second now. Visible torps, at least. Detectable torps. Um, where are your launchers? Aft. There they are. Nice. Nice. You're out of torps there? Yeah. You still got eight of them left. Okay. 
Now, if I want to torp these guys, I'm going to have to get pretty close and wait for the quads to reload, like I said. But the deal is, their guns are probably going to be hell. This thing has a modicum of armor, a 4.2 inch of main belt, so effectively more like 8. 8.5. But even that can get penned at short range. Even that is not necessarily going to save me. I need to stay a bit farther afield and get me a bit more time. I am pretty nicely going through the reload. I just need more time. 31 knots on my cruiser. 31.5 on theirs. Destroyer. Come on. Buy some time. Buy some time. Spider's limping there in the back. Her turning circle is probably going to be extremely good. Scepter. Almost loaded. Cadets. These are new boats. Overpen. Nice try. Can I pen this? Yeah. Very little armor. Don't do that. This is the only green level crew training that they have. The green ship. I'm concerned, however, that if I turn towards the Thanet, I'm going to get torped. I want to get torped, so at least I know that it's happening and that I can turn away from it. So I'm going to increase the distance here, if I can. Let the Scepter torp me. Turn. And start jamming torpedoes up their throat. Down their throat, however you want to put it. So, Scepter. Let's have it out. Go on. I know you want to. You're eager to get those torpedoes out there. I know you are. Come on, do I need to make it more enticing? Do I? Jesus, man. Hurry up already! Whoops, that was the whole salvo. I didn't mean to send all 16 torpedoes at him. Hmm. Now the Breslau has a bit of a problem, because now I used by far the best weapon system on the Breslau. And gunning these guys down is possible, just not very plausible. But whatever. I won't outrun them, that's for sure. This is 9 million. This is by far the more interesting target, the Thanet. And then this guy is too, huh? Yeah. It's more like it. Charge! Thanet is... Oh, she was just turning her guns towards me. Smoke. Partial pens only? Pew! Pew! Missed. Destroyed main gun. Well, shit. <laughs> what do we do now? <laughs> I'm unarmed. Don't shoot me, I'm unarmed. Yeah, right. Thanet. You know what's gonna happen next. Still got one torpedo. Do the Jaws theme. Please. Increase the flank. Go on. Bend over. Captain of the Breslau is crazy. She will run into you. 22-8. Yeah, I will get you. I'll get you, little destroyer. If I don't flood to death first. Turn. Get it. Get in there. Well, not necessarily in the... Ow! 
Not necessarily in there, but... Turn! Oh, we got a third player joining the fight. Hello, Scepter. What you want? I'm definitely going to lose the Brass Lau, but I'm going to lose it in style. Ish. Come on. Come on. This is going to be the cadets that tried to pull off the destroyer ram. Wait, 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 wait. You're getting shot at by the scepter, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, they're getting shot at by the scepter. Oh, boy. You cannot make this shit up. If I'm gonna die, you're gonna come right with me. <laughs> Remember, if a ship has been sinking, or rather, if a ship is sinking, I can still do ram damage. I doubt that the ship actually caused enough flooding. And I can't tell. Yeah, that's a defeat, that's for sure. Mm, pretty serious damage to the Symmetry class. Right, so I encountered the only target that should not be encountered by these light cruisers. Oh, and I keep losing transports. Of course I do. Of course I do. Oh, we got the Scharnhorst. Nice. Against the New Zealand class battle cruiser, armed with six fifteen inchers against my nine eleven inchers. Okay. This is gonna be interesting. They're only doing twenty three knots. I'm doing thirty two, and I got the V three with me with our big torpedo tubes. This is gonna be good. Let's see if the Sharnhorse can pull this off. Hello, boys. Cadet level crew. That's one of the few things that concerns me. Oh, it's the V3. We're safe. The V3 is a completely veteran crew. They have done so much work for me. I'm already getting partial penned. What? Uh, shoot this first. This is the light cruiser. If this thing gets its torps away, we're going to have a bit of a problem. Please tell me you fire heavy shells. Super heavy shells, good man. One issue that I do see is that the battle cruiser, being so slow, is going to have a fantastic turning circle. Oh, no, 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 no. And a fantastic turning circle equals you're going to be very difficult to torpedo. Good man. There's only a partial pen, much to my surprise. Five inches on Scharnhorst, also doing work. Scharnhorst design, first time you're seeing it. 11, 11 on the bow, 1, 11 on the stern. Which apparently is a 360 degree turret. It's not supposed to be, but it works. I like it. Uh, a couple of 5 inches as secondaries, 3 inches and 2 inches. Pretty heavily armed ship. Very good for raiding convoys, not necessarily for defending a convoy. Although she might be able to pull that off as well. There you go. I designed her to hunt down light cruisers. That's why she's pretty quick. She has an okay level of armor. And she can do a lot of damage with those pretty fast firing 11 inch shells. Or 11 inch guns. So that's exactly what I'm using right now to take this cruiser down. Concord. She did launch against the destroyer of all things. Okay. Gonna regret that. Give me AP. See if we can flood it. Yeah. Ooh, that's a lot of flooding there. You got a lot of flooding going on. Yeah, Concourse is gonna be dead. That's a $39 million cruiser. Scharnhorst has her first kill, but the V3 sinks to extensive fire from a 15 inch shell. That was the battle cruiser. Undoubtedly, that was the battle cruiser. 
Bit of a dick move there. I mean, the V3 has done so much work. Also, those torpedoes were heading for the destroyer, so I'm probably going to lose some to the convoy. Um, yeah, that's cute. That was a pen from the 15-inch. Come on, give me one hit. I don't need much. Partial pen with an 11 inch gun? Really? What do you have that's shrugging off 11 inch shells? Nice try. That will run long, potentially. Yeah, this is... Ooh, boy. That's probably gonna kill some convoy. Convoy ships. Lion. Whoa, I really can't pen that thing. Give me AP against the destroyer. I don't like using it. Never mind. Alright, buddy. You and me now. 69 million. 75 million. Bulkheads. Standard. Cramped quarters. Veteran crew. 15 inch guns. 24... Well, 24, 23% chance to pen me. Really depending on angling. I'm slowly gaining some chance to pen. Oh, she's turning. You really don't want to be doing that there, lion. You really don't. You might bring more firepower to bear, but you're exposing much more of your ship than you really should. Let's get some high explosive in. Ow. Come on. Scharnhorst sadly does not have torpedoes. I could refit Scharnhorst and still add those, because in this situation, those would be fantastic to have. But it's going to take a while <clears throat> to actually get those installed. I'm not sure I even want this fight with the lion, because I don't think I'll win it. I'm dishing out some partial pens here and there, but they're actually getting a lot of damage in. No, we're leaving. I've already sunk the light cruiser and the DD. Select your own ammo. Nah. 15%. Yeah, see, I'm just taking too much damage. This is not the fight that Charnhurst was designed for. She's not supposed to take on a battle cruiser. She's supposed to take on a lighter threat. Heavy cruisers, light cruisers, destroyers. Not this. So I'm going to try and have her do what uh, the battle cruisers were pretty good at. Run away from things that you cannot shoot at. Or that you cannot outshoot. And the lion appears to be exactly that. Although she's turning around. She's coming after me. I can still probably get 22, 8, 23. I can do 28 knots ish. Hmm. It'd be pretty sad to have the Sharn Horse be lost in her first encounter. But this guy is making it pretty enticing to try and turn and fight. Is the line coming back around? Yeah, they're turning back. Turning away. Good. I'm gonna head the other way. I'll see you for another encounter with a different ship, ideally. <clears throat> One of the other battle cruisers. Leipzig, maybe. Hanover, if the battleship is available again in this area, that is. Is the Sharnhorst is getting blown up? Wait, their shells. We got still a lot of ammo, and they're a veteran crew. I got cadets here. Ceasefire. If I outweigh their shells, I could still sink the lion. Could take a while though. 
A good while later, the fight is still going on. Sharnhorst has taken a severe amount of damage. She has taken flooding, and she's currently actively flooding. One engine's been damaged, and her rudder has been damaged as well, and she's been struggling to get that back ever since. The Lion has 34 shells left of her 15-inch guns, and after that, she's down to fives. At this point, when she's out of ammo, I can turn the Sharnhorst around, and I can sink the Lion. I just have to try and live long enough for those last few shells to get fired at the Sharnhorst. Which is proving to be not so easy. Also, if Lion, after all this, decides to run away, then there's nothing I can do. Because I can still do 16 knots, but Lion can do 21.8. As she's running at maximum speed. There we go. More flooding, and it's going to slow me down even more. Lion down to 20 shells. I've already expended all of my high explosive, which resulted in some fires, which caused about half the damage that you can see to the Lion, but not much more than that. Um, the Lion, at this range, pretty heavily protected, extremely angled, making it difficult to get a good bit of damage in on her, but... She's down to 12. Probably down to 10. Ricochet. See, Scharnhorst has just enough armor to sort of survive. I'm saying sort of, because every now and then she takes fairly disastrous flooding hits. You're down to... Oh, you just got flooded there, Lion. Right through the bows. Two shells left. We can start turning around. There you go. How hard do you want to cheese the AI? And the answer is yes. Because now I can turn. And now Lion cannot do anything in retaliation but fire her 5-inch high explosive or armor-piercing shells. Neither of which are going to be particularly useful. Partial pen. And the AI is too stupid to run away. So yeah, just cheese the AI real hard, and eventually you'll end up with a win. You just gotta play it careful, you gotta play it patient, and you gotta be willing to lose half your ship before you just disengage. Partial pen, engine 3 damaged. Are you gonna turn broadside for me there? That would be very convenient. Stern turret, being a 360, can immediately reacquire. Chance to pen. Now well above 10%. 14%. If you're going to go full broadside for me and not even consider using your 5 inches, you're just going to end up... Oh. She has one 5 incher. She has no other secondary armament. Now, Sharnhorse is definitely going to be down for repairs for a good long while. But I'd rather repair a battlecruiser than have to build a whole new one, especially with a veteran crew. Is getting a veteran crew can take quite a while. Lying down to 47% structural and flooding. Faster and faster. There you go. Yeah, end the battle. I don't think so. We're going to make the Royal Navy pay for this. Not for the repairs, I mean, but just for sending this thing out to try and kill the Sharnhorst and trying to deal with my convoy. Convoy, which is nowhere to be seen. Where is the convoy, actually? Convoy is about 35 kilometers out. They're not even that far away. I thought they would have made more of an escape by now. Now, Lion's still trying to fight back with a 5-incher. I'm trying to get more flooding on her stern. Large and large... Well, increasingly large parts of the ship are on fire. Good pen... Build a pen right through the stern, right? Yep, right through the stern. Structural down to 17%. Crew is down almost, yeah, over 22%. They have a cramped quarters, so their damage control is going to be reduced. Yeah, we got them. 13% structural. Got plenty of shells left. Secondaries are continuously setting fires that the waning damage control parties on the line just cannot put out. At least not fast enough. 11%. More flooding. That's what I was looking for. All engines on Lion are now out of commission. 
Anybody's bet where they can be repaired. But if it's up to me, they're going to be underwater before they get an opportunity to fix them. Still quite a few ricochets. 6% structural integrity. 5. Now remember, I did lose a destroyer in this battle, so I didn't exactly come out unharmed. Especially Sharnhorse didn't. I think we're going to be seeing her 4 months from now. When she gets repaired. 2% structural. Buoyancy dropping to 13. 12. 11. 10. I think the ship will fail. There she goes. Dead. Structural damage. Ship just got utterly destroyed. Didn't have to sink. So. 3,000 victory points. 268. But Sharnhurst took massive damage. Not pretty. But still. I sunk like another capital ship. Heavy damage. Sharnhorst, how bad? Seven months. Okay, seven months is a lot more than I was hoping for. Uh, we also got the Prince Adelbert, which is her sister. The battleship... Oh, the Super Deutschland is out! Uh-huh. Super Deutschland is armed with six 18-inch guns. She's a sniper. And she's in Kiel. Uh, let's have you join the other battleship, shall we? Oh yeah, send the Adelbert out there. Two heavy cruisers and a slew of destroyers. There we go. We're going to have a fleet here. We're going to have a party. You guys, where can we piss off more British ships? That destroyer will get intercepted by the light cruiser, which is not good. What you got there? Is that French ships coming my way? Singles. Huh. Could we strike one of their ports? Try. Everybody go. And your new mission is to invade. Piss off as many enemies as you can and high priority for repairs. Alright guys, it looks like the campaign is not quite done yet. There will be more episodes. And I really hope that we can get the Super Deutschland to fight something. Because that's going to be a nice ship to use. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you soon for the next.